how long does brain retraining take? If you're someone who has chronic fatigue syndrome or a nervous system disorder, it really depends. But brain retraining can be very, very powerful. In fact, a lot of people who have recovered credited their recovery to something like brain retraining. People use brain retraining as a way to break free of the symptoms and the chronic pain and the chronic fatigue when they suffer with a nervous system issue. Now, like I said, it really depends. It varies depending on how frequently you're practicing it and how long you're practicing it for. What I teach to people in Recovery Jumpstart, the program that we created, is you need to do the brain retraining for at least 20 minutes per day and practice it for at least three weeks in order to start seeing results. In fact, it's been shown that sometimes brain retraining can have no results for four to six weeks, and it takes that long for your brain to finally say, okay, we're gonna start to change. Because if you think about it, brain retraining is like trying to undo a knot in your brain, like a very, very tight knot. Just think about it. If you have 10 knots bundled together, it's gonna take a while for you to undo that. And sometimes you might be picking at it, pulling at it, using all your might with your fingernails and it doesn't budge. So you need to constantly pick at it until eventually it starts to loosen up and it starts to unravel. So for brain retraining, you have to do it consistently and do it every single day, even when you're not seeing results. The problem that most people face is they don't see results right away. Maybe they do it for three weeks and they don't see results. But if they did it for, you know, instead of 21 days, they did it for 22 or 23 days, then they would have started seeing some change but they gave up too early, then they'll never get to reap those benefits. For me personally, I was able to see massive change in just a week. I was able to make my symptoms go from a seven to eight to like a three or four within 30 seconds of doing the brain retraining. It becomes almost automatic. You're really just teaching your brain that it has some level of control in the intensity of the symptoms that it's feeling. Once it learns that it has even just a little bit of control, then it goes, hey, I want more control. So then it goes on autopilot, starts to take back control, and then you're able to break out of that negative cycle, that autopilot of chronic pain and fatigue and other symptoms that your brain is causing you. So that's a long answer of a question that I get asked a lot. People ask me, 